Nice to meet you. Nice it's to a meet real you. honor for me to be here. I'm Aurora and I adore you. Thank you. And That's I would nice. like to start off well saying we'll see you very soon on the screens, this time playing Marvel's brand new uh, anti-hero, Dr. Michael Morbius. That is true. Um, I would like to start off by asking, since I know how much you love and cherish the transformative process behind every character, was Morbius more of a psychological or physical challenge for you? Um, Morbius was a little bit of both. It was psychological, it was physical, um, you know, maybe in some ways even spiritual, I don't know. But uh, I liked it because it was... It, there was an opportunity to really put a performance piece inside a big Marvel movie, and I, I responded to that and was up for the challenge. And Morbius also acquired several superpowers in his path, and such as speed, super strength, flying, and this is a little silly question, but what would your superpower be if you could choose one in real life? Hmm. Well, it would be fun to fly. Why? Yeah. I mean... You know, there, I don't know, there's just something about flying. I guess I always think it would be fun until you are going, you know, about 200 miles per hour and you hit like a a bug or something, <laughs> or a bird, could you imagine? But uh, yeah, it would be painful. they never think about that when they're flying around. Like, how do they never hit a bird or a bug? <laughs> That's true. You know, I thought about that once, there, yeah. It's, uh, anyway... Uh, but I like Morbius has the power of echolocation. He's, he can see with sound. And I think that's a pretty unique one. Yeah. I really admire you as an artist, and I think you Thank can you. express yourself in many different ways. And I read a quote of yours about how growing up in an artistic environment surrounded by actors, you know, musicians and everything, made you realize that artistic expression has to be free of labels and roles. And I'm very inspired by that, actually, because I often feel trapped in those labels. So the question is, um, what would your advice be for a young soul in search of its artistic identity? That's a big question, and, uh, and thank you. I appreciate those words, too. You know, I think with creativity, you have to be driven beyond a reasonable doubt to pursue that kind of dream, because I don't know if you'll be able to withstand the... The challenges, you know, the, the, the creative path is, is unique because it, it's fraught with um, a lot, there are a lot of ups and downs. I know. You know, but uh, there's that quote I love that it's, this isn't it exactly, but it's really about leadership. But I think the quote could be used about, you know, to describe being an artist too. And it's, it says something basically like, you know, you'll, you'll be lonely um, and in fear but there's no price too high to pay for the privilege of owning yourself. And I think that, you know, an artist is a person that marches to the beat of their own drum, that takes great risk uh, regularly, embraces failure, doesn't shy away from fear, and, uh, you know, says something that's unique and, and truthful to who they are. But yeah, that's my answer. Okay, it's a very big answer. Okay, good. I'm always interested in people like you, what you listen to. So can I know what was the last song or album you listened to? The last song or album? Well, I'm making a new album right now for 30 Seconds to Mars. My brother and I are working on new music. Thank you. <laughs> so I'm not listening to a lot of music. I'm, I'm making a lot of music. Um, and I think after Morbius comes out, we'll probably put new music out. And uh, I'm excited about it. That's great. We're all excited about Thank it. You. Thank you very much.